In this video, I'm gonna take you guys on a super rare and unique uni experience in Ginza. All right, I'm so excited for this. I've been waiting for months. Let's go. So today, I'm taking you guys on an exclusive uni, AKA Sea Urchin Odyssey at Sushi Saisho. It's uber difficult to book a seat at this event since it's announced irregularly on their Facebook page. And when it does, it gets filled in less than an hour. That's why I'm so fired up tonight. This is the master. Chef Saisho. He seems serious right now, but you'll soon see that he's super chill and silly as a pink pickle. So, this is a set dinner course with all you can drink for 13,800 yen. I think it's fairly reasonable for a sushi course in Ginza. And if you're down to get your drink on... Cool, they just set the sashimi right on the counter. Our dope course included sashimi and 17 luscious pieces of sushi, and of course, mostly uni. Isn't it cool how he explains the background of each ingredient? After this Post Malone compai, then my uni going psycho. Uh, let's have some fun. Look at that, it's so thick. It's from Kyushu. It's supposed to be sweet. This is just regular soy sauce. All right, this is like the appetizer to the uni. Look how big this piece is. It's like butter soft. It's like little squid. <clears throat> it just like pops and explodes in your mouth. I love how neatly the uni is laid out in the wooden trays, but even better, how swiftly the master goes to work shoveling out the golden uni onto his white canvas of rice. <laughs> Finally, the master is done. All this love for only the 10 people in the room. You get an uni, she gets an uni, we all get uni. Look how beautifully it glistens. <sighs> It's so fresh and silky. I love the delicate taste of uni. It's like one of those things that doesn't compare to any other taste in the world. If you've never had uni before, you've got to come here and try it. And number two. Also, unlike what I'm used to, the harder and sharper rice paired well with a melting uni. They're best friends. Mm. And he just served aoyagi. It's supposed to be like a clam mussel, but it almost looks like a hotate. Very interesting, very good. Bluefin tuna. <laughs> Wow, it just melts in your mouth. That's amazing. Bluefin oh. tuna. Japanese people say so. Akami, red part. Red yeah. meat. Next, I'll make a torigai. It's kind of torigai. shellfish. It's a only spring special. Spring. This one is, I, I love it. In spring, it's shellfish is the best season now. Oh. Shellfish. Shellfish is one of them. Shellfish. shellfish. <laughs> This is his favorite. It has really interesting texture. It's like a little bit chewy, but then it has really like smooth and silky texture. It's so rare that you don't actually eat it raw. You usually eat it as boiled. So this time it's like a lot sweeter. And more uni. Look at this, another round of uni and awesome sake. Can life get better than this? Wow, it's dangerously good. It's a little bit sweet and it's super fruity. And <laughs> uni. Mm, best night ever. Look at him go. The master is going all samurai on the marbled kanzaki beef. Time to finish it off by kissing it lightly with a torch. 
これミュンヘンのダルマイヤーという創業300年を超える超老舗のトリュフオイルとトリュフ場で仕上げさせていただいています。ウニ、as you know, means sea urchin, and niku means meat. ウニ and niku combined is ウニク。Holy mother of damn!、Mm, the meat just melts, and you can like just taste that flame broiled aspect, and then the uni on top with a combination of the meat. It's very like a refined taste. And look, he has a patent for uniku. Alright, what do you guys think? To see more of my adventures in Tokyo, hit that subscribe button, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.